I won't ask for sports picks. He's Mike Brenner. I'm Peter Loshak. We're the Odds Couple. We come to sportsbookreview.com. This is the NBA Odds Couple show for Thursday, January 19th. Uh, let's throw the record up. Mike Brenner, you swept two picks again yesterday. The picks, uh, you know, my instinct was that they were a little bit uh, maybe risky. But, yeah. of course, once again, you were proved right. I was proved wrong. You're chugging ah, along, you're Mike Brenner. Wrong. It's just one awesome of those calls. things. Yep. Because I'm not out to prove anybody wrong. The only thing I'm out to do is prove that we can yes. get the bookies money well, consistently and we can do it if we're sharp. You clearly uh, do your research and know what to look for when it comes to the NBA. And I do live remember show. one thing you said to me yesterday, mm-hmm. and it stopped you in your tracks. You said, well, well, what about the first half, Mike Brenner? Mm-hmm. Pete, don't worry yep. about that. Yep, <laughs> yep, exactly. Well, in our live show our, uh, this morning, you were hinting that you have a lot of good uh, research and info, and uh, that might indicate a nice betting value for... No, I do. Uh, I got two that I really love, buddy. Really? All right. Well, we only got five games here. Of course, we've I got uh, we've got uh, Cleveland. On the, let's start with that one. Cleveland uh, on their first game back from, uh, from their blowout loss. Kevin yeah. Love is out, I believe, right? Yep. He, he's announced out. He is out. Line is 13. Phoenix very blowoutable. Yep. What's your take on this game, Mike Brenner? My my take on this is I just feel so clear with this, Pete. Mm-hmm. I want the best shop first half line mm-hmm. for the Cavaliers, okay. even with Love out because LeBron James, mm-hmm. all right, literally, he is putting a lot of this weight on his shoulder, and I think he has something to prove. And nobody in the world could tell me that he did not watch that game last night where OKC was in it, all right? They were in it for a minute. Second half, though, they got blown out, but still. They want to prove that they are better than what they showed the other night. My mm-hmm. God, are you kidding me? They got destroyed. So you're going to see Tristan Thompson step up tonight. You're really, really, really going to see. I'm telling you right now, you're going to see Kyle Korver come through tonight. Cleveland is going to light it up early and often. This same occasion happened one other time this year. They came off a big, big blowout, mm-hmm. and they were up by 26 points the next game at half. Pistol Pete, best shot line. Wow. I'm pulling the trigger, baby. All right. Phoenix has covered seven out of the last I, yes, nine, they so they've have. been doing all right. right you know, uh, But obviously, a big Bounce back spot for Cleveland. Line opened at seven on the first half. Now it's up to seven and a half yep. because we are shooting this a little bit I'm later. Seven trigger. and a half minus one oh six for uh, for Cleveland. All right, yep. okay, Mike Brenner. Now let's talk about uh, Denver and San Antonio. Now this one in the morning show. I I, yeah. I told you, you had me scratch my head because uh, Denver yeah, has been absolutely scratching the middle of that head too much longer. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, Denver has absolutely been blasting. Uh, been getting it done uh, offensively. Right, Five, eight straight overs, Amazing. putting up hundred and forty. That's at home. Now they you know the, 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 they've had one sub apart. Uh, offensive game over the last 15 games, and that was against San Antonio. Yes, so and, and maybe, I think a lot of teams do, though, so let's put that out there, too. Yeah, right. So my question is, I mean, you look at, I'm looking at their team total, right? Their team total yeah. is 104. I like that angle. Now, when you see a team that's putting up, you know, yeah. 120, 130, 140, game in and that's game right. out. That's got to be, a, yeah, that turns your head. But, again, they played uh, the Spurs last time. They only scored 99, so I don't know. You're the expert, might, Mike no, Ritter. Might, I'm pre- not an expert at nothing. Well, well, <laughs> you know what, though? That might be sharp because they – you know, obviously they know how to defend this team, but I love what this coach is doing in Denver, mm-hmm. Mike Malone. You know, that was a big mistake for Sacramento to get rid of him. When that team's healthy, and he said they're two players away, so they're already searching for some players. And again, it's trade deadline. All right, I'm I'm bouncing off of that because my mind's telling me that might be the they might. They, I think they go over that 104. Yeah, I really do, Pete. I, I mean, do is it is, is it just the Spurs know something about how to defend them to keep them low, or is that a little bit of a fluke? No, that, that could be a little of a fluke. But what I like is the other side, Denver going wait. Wait a minute. How come we always mm-hmm. uh, you know, against them? So yeah, maybe yeah. they're trying to outplan them, and Denver, and maybe uh, you know the Spurs are going. Hey, it's natural. We know right. how to play this team. And I'll tell you what I else. I like that. On the opening line, I jumped all over the over at uh, two nineteen. Jumped now, all over. Yeah, it. I jumped you all just over. Absolutely it. swallowed it. Baby. Now it's up to two twenty one. I mean, again, Denver's gone over in eight straight games. They the Spurs have. Are an over too. I They've know. gone over yeah. nine out of their last eleven. Yeah. There's no doubt. And Kawhi Leonard. That I mean they got the scoring. Jesus. And from what I'm hearing, they're they're healthy tonight. You know, I don't know. Pete. All right, I'll take the. That's uh, got your attention. God, though. I can I, tell you it's that. It's just, it's just, yeah. All right, I'll take the Denver team total over 104. Pull my that trigger, baby. This is fine. If it loses, fine. I mean, uh, is there any reason why this knot would go over to a uh, 221? Is I, kind of a high I total. Know, I know. I, I'm with you on this. I'm with you. This is, and you said it very, very in your first words. God. This is a head scratcher. Yeah, and the first half is 117, and the full game is uh, know, is see? a 221. It's a very strange thing wow. going on with total. But you are, see, you said I'm an expert. I'm an expert at nothing, but you yeah. are totals low shack. Totals low shack. So, yes. All right, I'll, I'll, yes. I'll, I'll, a dangerous I'll, man. And also, is this all right? I'll, I'll give Denver team total over one hundred and four yeah. minus one eighteen. Pull that trigger too. Why not? 
Because do you think Denver has revenge in mind here? Of uh, course they of, do. Yeah. And they got scores on that team. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, that team's getting better, and it all happens yeah. because of the coach. His name is Mike Malone, yeah. buddy. Yeah. It makes all the difference. And this guy's got the utmost respect for Popovich. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, this is that thing, Pete. Don't, don't, don't look back. Come on. All right, I'll take that one. And then let's yeah. move on to a Minnesota on. and the Clippers. I'm Interesting game, Give right? It to me, baby. Obviously, Chris Paul out for the Clippers. Yep. Obviously, Minnesota, uh, you know, a talented team like the Sixers. You like this game one way or the other? I do, Pete. And you know what? A lot of people said, and this is true, and Matty, Ice brought it up when we were doing our, our live uh, show earlier. All right, last year when these two got hurt at the same time, mm-hmm. when Paul and and uh, Blake Griffin were down, his team won eight out of its first nine. All right, but look at that strength of schedule they played. That happened at a good time as compared to where they're going. All right, I just think this year it's a different different team because their bench is not anything like it used to be. All right. What's his name is still playing there? Paul Pierce, okay? Yeah. That guy is still playing freaking <laughs> basketball, all right? He's going to be getting major play in time. I am all over Minnesota here, Pete, and I'm telling you right now, I like it. I like him in the first half. Wow. I like him in the full game because uh, I read some some uh, articles with Tom Thibodeau, and he said, you know what? I said this is going to take some time, mm-hmm. all right? That, but these guys are not selfish. Mm-hmm. Um, that was two, three weeks ago, all right? Update. He said they're really starting to come together. He really? thinks by after All Star break, he said we're going to be a dangerous team. Really? Yes, I like it. They're young, and they also see, hey, all right, there's two guys out. We got to take advantage of that spot. We got to hit mm. their weakness. To where I, I think other teams were were a little intimidated. Oh, it's the Clippers because that's when they were reeling off wins left mm-hmm. and right. Mm-hmm. Okay, that intimidation factor is gone. They started the year hot. Clippers did. We mm-hmm. all remember mm-hmm. that, and all of a sudden shit went south. All right, I love this play. Minnesota first half full game. Really? Give me the all right, so or the they're uh, actually favored. Well, now. yeah, it's actually. Uh, uh, opened up uh, as a dog. Opened up as a dog. Now it's up, to, but it's still uh, you know a, a reasonable line. The first half is pick them minus one ten is the it. best Pistol. line, and for the full game would be uh, we can give you the pinnacle line, which is just Minnesota minus one minus one hundred two. I'm taking that. And what are your thoughts on that? I, I want your honest opinion. Obviously, I'm okay. not trying to com- get you yeah. to jump on. I, want I, complete, you to- I completely agree with you on on, on Minnesota's <sighs> potential long term. And if you're telling me what Tom Thibodeau is yes. saying, that makes yes. me really yes, like he him. Did. Oh, I really like it. And you know what? DeAndre Jordan is the one that who takes the weight on the mm-hmm. shoulders when these two went down last year. So that. That's going to be the same this year, all right? Redick right now is a little bit off. He's dealing mm-hmm. with some little scrappy injuries. So that team and Austin yeah. Rivers is not fully healthy either, mm-hmm. all right? This team's going to be looking real quick to just pick up a 10-day contract guy. That's the desperation they're in. They're not going to show it. Mm-hmm. They're not going to talk about mm-hmm. it. But this team will be in disarray soon. I'm telling you right now, I love Minnesota because they're playing good ball and they know they can hang in there. Before Chris Paul went down, the Clippers were winning and covering game in and game out. I think they yeah. covered six out of last. Yeah. Something Look ridiculous. At that Something schedule, really good. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't the strongest of schedule. All right, but I'll tell you what, Mike Brenner. I'll, I'll go on with you with get the, in the there. first half pick a minus one ten. Yeah, and then why were they not win the full game? Well, they are. I got both. I took yeah. the yeah. game. Come on, baby. Right. I'm, I'm just taking advantage of two spots. Is what I'm doing. And I think after tonight, Tom Thibodeau is going to say, "Yep, we are on the right track." And Doc Rivers is going to say, "You know what? It might be time to get the hell out of here." Mm-hmm. Woo! Mm-hmm. I love this. I love it. Pete, I'm fired right. up. I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with the first half for now, just for okay. just, just for that. Yeah, stick with it. <laughs> okay. Gonna, yeah. All right. One other game that I'm liking, I think, is uh, the. Under in Washington, New York. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm like How about I think, New York last well, night. Derrick yeah. Rose played the best game he's played, and you, and I, we said it in the live show, so I got to put it out here on the video. By the way, mm-hmm. All right, he says he's he thinks he's ready and deserves another max contract. Okay. and doesn't know if it's going to be in New York because everything is going on. All right. Yeah, the guy was MIA last week. He still hasn't answered the question, where the hell were you? This guy's mm-hmm. got issues, all right? But I like him. He's a competitor. He's had a lot thrown at him, had injuries when he was put into the spotlight and had expectations. That's hard to deal with yeah. in any business, okay? So I admire the way he played last night. Mello Anthony, who uh, said his favorite food is potato chips. There's no wonder <laughs> he can't fucking play defense. He can't get off his feet, yeah. all right? He also got a little bit of a hot hand. But what I worry about with this New York team is the consistency of night in and night out. Now can they do it again? Mm-hmm. I say I no, so, yeah. but I'm Staying the hell off of it. Well, God, you talk, you talk about defense. Yeah, you talk about defense, and I'm thinking about the under now. Obviously, okay. Washington's been a big uh, over trend around the year. The line's gotten bet up, which makes me a little bit nervous. It opened yeah. at 216 and a half. You now know, it's Scott up to Brooks 219. Took a chance two, two games ago. He, he, he took his chance mm-hmm. as the first time with uh, he's their head coach mm-hmm. first year. He had his first closed door fucking laying into the players' meeting, and he as the words I mm-hmm. heard, he was you know it was a risk I had to take was his words, but he literally closed the door and said, "What are you kidding me? I came here for this." 
This is a talented team. Where's the consistency? Mm -hmm. And from what I heard, and a good friend of mine who I get a lot of my mm -hmm. information from, he said, this team has finally bought what this guy's selling. He got their Washington. attention. Washington. Yes, he got their attention. Scott Brooks is a little guy, but he speaks yeah. volumes. Let's remember what he built in OKC. Yeah. All right. He's the one that made Durant who he is as far as being able to play with other star players sure, like sure, Westbrook. Sure. So he goes in there to this John Wall and uh, Bradley Beal mess, okay, and an inconsistent Martin Gortat. Gortat. Mm -hmm. He had his first players-only meeting, mm -hmm. and he shut the door and said, wait, this is my team. And boom, he owned it, and they said they respected it. So you're going to see that team more consistent. Yeah, well, I love that stuff. Well, they have won three in a row. Covered, they have. One and, and covered it, three in exactly. a row all at home, though, but and still. And that was after he, this meeting. He, mm. he literally had this meeting several days ago. All right. I'm going to I'm thinking that they're going to clamp down on defense. You're, uh, I mean, I know the Knicks yeah. don't play defense. And the but Knicks gonna... certainly don't shoot consistently at high percentages yeah. back to back to back. Porzingis is still out. Guess yeah, what? Melo right, is right, going right, to be tired. Right, Derrick right. Rose is going to be tired. Right. And Joaquin yeah. Noah, hell, he's out smoking yeah. weed somewhere. He don't know what the hell he's doing. All right. I'm not going to overthink it. I'll take the under 220. This is a bet DSI line right Boom. now. It's 219 and a half most places, but bet DSI is 220 yeah. minus 110. Yeah. And I'm also going to take the first half under 116 plus 101. That's a, a pinnacle line. Because I think you're going to see Washington buckle down on yeah. defense, buddy. I really do. And their last couple couple games they've they haven't been uh, as in the stratosphere two of them went under yes and two of them Good were yeah, yeah yeah all right so i'm on the under in both yeah. of those and then uh, we only got two other games we got dallas and miami and uh oh no yeah it's one other game dallas miami you, you have anything yeah, to say about that one, say about nope, that nope, one except yep. for i'm staying away mm -hmm. and if anybody do yourself a favor if you're that desperate and you need to watch that game tonight <laughs> watch dirk Nowitzki. he used to do that little step back shot that looked beautiful all right this guy's gotten older all right and, and watch him do that now you'll look at that and say are you kidding me is mm. this and but he still makes them sure 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 I don't know. All Coach right, let's beat. review our plays. I'm on the under first half and full game Washington, New York. I'm on with Mike Brenner on Minnesota first half, and I'm on the uh, Denver team total over Mike Get Burned on that one, but I'll take it. Yep. And that's it for me, Mike Brenner. Review your plays. I'm for going. I love this one. Minnesota first half, Pistol Pete got game. me a pick em, Full game minus one. And Cleveland Cavaliers on a bounce back without Kevin Love. First half minus seven and a half. A can of whoop ass is right. coming out. And Pistol Pete, I'm feeling like I'm heating up. That's Well, you certainly uh, had two <laughs> awesome, awesome calls last night. Overall, your record is positive and impressive. And Mike Brenner, especially Especially on your straight plays. College, I'm doing pretty well right now, yep, 7 you're and 2. Up, you're heating up I'm in trying to stay away well. from you from saying something about those teasers. Well, I'm just uh, a facts it, uh, of facts. Here we go, facts, facts of facts. Facts of facts. And, uh, you know, your record in both college and NBA would be a lot better if, if we weren't counting the teasers. That's a fact. We have to count the teasers. All right. So yeah. that's it for Thursday. We'll be back tomorrow for the big Friday NBA card. Nice job, Mike Brenner. Thanks for your uh, picks once again tonight. Don't you love doing this stuff? Oh, sure, sure. I love yeah. it. We're the odds couple. We're coming to you, baby. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.